So welcome back to another series of what's it like to play in the NFL. So I appreciate all the questions and all the suggestions and the different topics that people want me to cover. And I seem to be getting a lot about injuries, injuries, injuries all the time. And maybe it's because there's so many injuries this year taking place in the NFL. But the question that really kind of connected with me was, um, what are the worst injuries you've ever seen? And right away, I can think of two injuries throughout my nine-year career that I just i have not forgotten to this day. The first one took place in 1992 when I was with the Kansas City Chiefs and we were playing the Jets up there in the Meadowland. And I remember when um, Dave Craig, our quarterback, had dropped back uh, to pass and two defensive linemen came on the outside and were about to sandwich him. Dave steps up, steps up and these guys collide. And one actually had his head down and hits his buddy in the chest and ended up hurting himself. And he was actually down for a long, long time. And, and you're thinking, well, you know, I mean, he should be fine and he'll probably he'll walk it off or whatever. But this took an extra, extraordinary amount of time. So I remember walking up to the player because he was laying down and just kind of seeing if I could eavesdrop a little bit. And I recall the player, his name was Dennis Bird, you probably heard of him, say, I cannot move my legs. I cannot feel my lower body. And I remember walking by thinking, did he really just say what I thought he did? And it just like was a total reality check and really shocked me to hear those words. And as you know, Dennis Bird ended up breaking his vertebrae and had suffered spinal damage and so forth. But fortunately, he's got a great story. We know that he recovered to some extent. He's been a huge inspiration as well to many. The second injury was a little more graphic. Now this took place when I was in Atlanta in 1997. Uh, we were playing the Buffalo Bills. And I remember in the first half of that game, I took a shot on the side and cracked four ribs. I cracked four ribs. I was in so much pain. I go into the locker room and I'm in there by myself, just in a lot of pain. You can't do much about it at that point. But about, you know, maybe 10 minutes later, I hear someone coming in and they're like, oh, 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 oh. I mean, they sound like they're in a lot of pain. I'm thinking, who is in more pain than me? Because I'm just dying here with these cracked ribs. Well, I go around the corner and I see Anthony Phillips, who is one of our DBs. He's laying on the table and he just broke his tibia where the bone is kind of poking out and everything. And so the doctors are sitting there trying to put, get a cast on. They're trying to set that thing right away. And they're looking around like, okay, we need someone to hold the leg. And they look, they look at me and I'm like, guys, I'm, I'm in a lot of pain here. I can't really do anything. And the doc's like, well, just hold his leg steady so we can go ahead and wrap it. So I'm sitting there trying to hold Anthony's leg. And every time I would move it left or right, the bone would stick out. I mean, it was, it was very visible too. And I'm in pain, he's in pain, he's screaming. And so anyway, they ended up wrapping it and, and so forth. But as soon as I got home, I had to see the replay of this. And I went on ESPN, I watched the highlight. And what happened was Anthony had intercepted Jim Kelly. So Anthony intercepts the ball, he's running down the sideline, and Jim Kelly had the angle on him like this, and Jim dives and just clips his leg just enough, enough to snap his tibia. And the bones poking out, sticking out and everything. It was pretty graphic. You probably can find it on YouTube somewhere. But anyway, those were the two injuries I remember the most, even though I witnessed many others. But probably one of the reasons why I retired when I did after nine years, because my last year I tore my ACL and I thought, you know what, let's just get this baby 100% and, and retire so that we can walk away from the game and not be carried away from the game. So there you go.